think so i know what you're thinking she told us in her last video that she wasn't going to be back for a good long time like in september or something well you're not getting rid of me that easy so basically what happened was a good youtube friend of mine william huddleston came to my rescue and hooked me up with a really really good video editing system the whole shebang and i really want to give him a big big thank you shout out i really really appreciate it, it means a lot especially because i'm only getting started on youtube i need to make as much videos as possible so i'm going to leave the links to his two channels in the description below one is hey i'm willie and the other is really the response so be sure to check out those channels they're really really good videos and you'll be sure to have a good time so thanks again. So basically the main thing I wanted to talk about in this video was the shootings that happened in Colorado at the Batman pr premiere in the, in the movie theatre and like the cinema. So basically if you've never heard of this story because you know you're buried under the snow in like Alaska or something for the past few weeks, here's a few facts. Basically this crazy f idiot freak sick, sick man Decided he wanted to be the Joker for the night and he went to a 12 o'clock Batman premiere in a cinema in Colorado and what he basically did was he went into the movie theatre when the movie was on and started walking down the aisles and started shooting people. He killed, I think it was 12 people and wounded 50. And obviously this was completely unneeded, uncalled for and the people affected didn't deserve it at all. So the guy actually had been planning this for a long long time like he had his whole apartment booby trapped like the fbi or the police or nothing could get into it they had a bit of camera in and they seen all the booby traps he also told the police that his car was booby trapped but i think that turned out to be a lie he just did it to buy time or something or to just mess with their heads i don't know what goes on in a sick mind and basically that was what happened and he just went off shooting people he died he like dyed his hair red for the night and everything and he just went crazy with his gun well, big big respect to Christian Bell who actually went to the hospital where the wounded were staying and visited the people and you know talked to them and gave his apologies and I thought that was really really sweet and nice because it goes to show you know the people that were wounded that there's not only you know jokers in the world there's not only the bad guys there is the good guys too and at least it gave them you know something to lift their spirits and make them feel better. So big, big respect to Christian Bale. I thought that was a really, really good thing for him to do. And I completely understand that, you know, every life is valued and everybody is, is deserves to live and stuff. But people that are doing, you know, all these bad things, like affecting poor, innocent people's lives and putting them through hell. And yet, if they get a 10 year sentence, they can get out on five on good behavior. I think that is completely disgraceful. I feel that if you do something crazy and sick once, if you have the opportunity, you're gonna do it again. So what's your thoughts on the whole thing from the Batman shootings in Colorado to Christian Bale visiting them? And what do you think about, you know, all these prisoners in jail and stuff like that? Do they deserve to get out on if they're behaving well or should they stick their sentence?